Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Into the Light. Thank you so much for being here today and being present. Um, so today, a big card reading is going to be about what is their karma for hurting you? So the person that you think of, what is their karma that's going to come for them? Because they hurt you and do you wrong. So we have four piles to choose from today. We have the baby blue crystal, uh, this diamond here, this dark blue crystal, and then this red diamond. So those are the four piles to choose from. You can pause the video, focus on your person in mind, and whatever pile you feel more drawn to, the timestamps will be in the comments. Alright, so let's get started. You who have chosen the baby blue crystal here, what is your person's karma for doing you wrong, for doing you dirty? So we're going to figure that out today. Alright, so let's start with the tarot. So we have the strength card. We have the page Page of Wands, we have the Eight of Wands, we have the High Priestess, we have Uranus, Uranus, oh my god, <laughs> uh, we have the Fourth House, we also have the Eight of Spades, the Ace of Diamonds, and the Queen of Hearts. So I'm heavily picking up female energy. The person that you are thinking about is going to be a woman. But it doesn't have to be. But this is what I'm more firmly picking up here. I'm seeing that your person's karma is you know, not being able to be in tune and realizing, like, their own strength. This person is not really thinking with their mind. They're kind of just thinking with, you know, their emotions. So they're making these decisions. They're going to run into these issues and these problems. And it's going to happen so quickly for them. And it's like, You know, they're doing these things and not listening to their intuition because, like, they're angry. They're upset, you know? So they're just doing it because, you know, they're upset about what happened or how they did things. So I'm definitely seeing they're not paying attention to their intuition. And, you know, they're more thinking about, okay, what can I do next to kind of, like, shock people type of thing. Especially with this, this page of wands and the eight of wands together here i'm seeing that this person may be like okay this is what i'm getting i'm getting like this person may be a home wrecker so this person is going to run into a situation with somebody they're going to betray somebody and betray a relationship betray like a friendship whatever but betray a friendship and this is going to get them to this is something that's going to like a situation that's going to stir up a lot of problems and a lot of people will get involved with this especially why i'm saying this because the fourth house is here and then just i'm getting like more of like their karma is kind of just like only thinking with their sexual energy all right but yeah the fourth house rules the house here and then i'm seeing Feeling trapped, false friends, and then betrayal. Oh, and also there's powerlessness. So this person doesn't have, you know, they're not in their right mind, basically. They're just not in their right mind. 
And it says catch it early to avoid it, but I don't think this person is... This person just doesn't care. They're just going to go and rush into it. And it's going to be really unusual, and people are going to look at them differently and be like, what the heck? Why did you really do that? This person is emotionally dependent. And, you know, the Queen of Hearts is also like, when I think of the Queen of Hearts, you know, the Queen of Cups, I think of, you know, a woman that's kind of just like in control of their emotions, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But because this is about karma, she's not, this person is not in control of their emotions and they're kind of just thinking with, um, thinking about what they can do next to kind of just stir up things. And, you know, it's not really good at all, really. And this person is just dependent on, you know, having other people seeing them and doing things, like seeing them doing things. So it's like they'll do whatever it takes to really just get people's attention. And if I see here, as you did in the past, so this is probably something that this person has already done before. This person probably like took your man or took your woman and you know they're gonna go ahead and do it to someone else they're not gonna learn from their mistakes they're not gonna listen to their intuition but yeah definitely I'm seeing like you guys may even just receive like a message by somebody like a close friend if you guys have like kind of the same friend group and they're going to be like oh my gosh did you hear what happened and that's how you're going to figure it out but yeah that's what i'm paying up for you guys that chose this baby blue crystal thing here it's not a real crystal but hello um that's what i got for you guys so give me a thumbs up if it resonated with you if you would like feel free to comment Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification button to be notified each time that I upload. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye now. So what is their karma for doing you dirty? For hurting you? We're going to figure that out. So I'll start with your tarot cards here. So we have the Ace of Swords. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Star. Okay, there's a lot of blue here. And we have the Eight of Wands. I mean, Eight of Swords, sorry. This is a lot of blue. A lot of blue. But I'll go into the symbolism of that later. Um, so for your Karma cards, haha, <laughs> because you know, I hate like Karma reading. Um, <laughs> we have the South Node. We have the moon, and we also have the north node. That's wild. We got both the north and the south node. This person is going to, this person is going to have to go through some lessons, some lessons here. And then for the playing cards, I have the four of hearts, the ace of clubs, and the nine of spades. So what? Karma is coming for the person that did you dirty. Not really. This can be either. Uh, I'm getting both female and male energy, so it really doesn't matter here. So, let's just start. Okay, so your person, their karma is like they need to start, like sticking up not sticking up they need to start coming clear with their truth you know like they need to have some mental clarity and actually like realize what they did was wrong and this is something they're going to have to sit with and think about and really deal with before they move forward because the ace of swords is always about you know having a breakthrough having a mental breakthrough so i feel like their karma you know is this breakthrough of like really realizing like oh shit like I messed up even with this um, eight of swords too like what they did was um, they did this to themselves it's self-imposed what they did like 
it was really like they know it's their fault because this person I see this person has like this kind of like victim mentality and they just need to cut that crap they need to get through with that and stop just like rushing into things and trying to like you know because like look look here um so with the knight of swords he kind of just rushes into things without really thinking about it and then this person ends up with this eight of swords energy so i'm definitely picking up that this person you know, they were so quick to blame others and not really looking at themselves and what they did. So they're really going to need to be honest and stop restricting themselves from, you know, going through this, this healing that they need to go through. Like, Spirit is really calling on them to really just, like, hey, there's hope for you if you actually, you know, learn, learn from your mistakes and really, like, understand why these lessons are here. Because, like, the, the South knows. The South Node rules, like, when this popped up, like, it literally just rules the karma, things that need to be considered, you know, I'm seeing there will not be anxiety about trouble, remember, reconsider, now is not the time to, so with the South, the South Node here, it's really showing me that, you know, their karma is going to have to be them to stop, you know, restricting themselves and look at the qualities that they have and how they're negative and how they impact others and the people around them and how they can, you know, move beyond this. And with the North Node here, the North Node kind of just like, when I rules, um, kind of what you're supposed to be doing here, kind of like on Earth, like what is your, I don't like the greatest astrologer type person, um, not really that great at astrology, I am getting better, but the North Node rules uh, the person that you're supposed to become. So this situation is like literally a wake-up call to be like, okay, this is what happened in my life, and this is how I need to move forward. So it's like now it's the time to really reconsider, think about your situation, and like learn from it. All right, so I feel like this person is here on Earth to really just change their thinking and really get rid of, like, the karmic ties that they have here on Earth. And with the moon, it's like, this person's going to have to... I feel like this is very, like, how I'm feeling. is like this person's going to have to go through their shadow work, their dark night of the soul, and, you know, really look at their emotions and what they've been doing that's you know, been hurting others, and really look at, like, how their reactions and how, you know, them just being so defensive and not really actually looking at how, you know, they're bothered, how they've hurt others, is something that they're not, that's not going to fly as they're getting older. I just literally hit that. <laughs> um, and let me just say, like, with all this blue here, like, blue represents you know, emotions. So I'm really seeing like this person's going to need to go inside and be honest with themselves. Yeah. So with the four of hearts here, so it says too fussy, picky, destined to be alone. So definitely this person, this person has been you know, really fussy and picky in the past, but now they're going to have to start turning inward and really looking at uh, reflecting. They have to turn inward and reflect and understand that... Sorry, my printer is, like, going off. I was like, what is that noise? I'm shook. Whew. Okay, it's just a printer. It's just a printer. Um... Yeah, this person's going to start having, like, a lack of interest in the world and the people around them. And it's really just, it's their fault, you know? And if they don't actually, like, because it's like they're having a lack of interest of the people around them because they're just so stubborn with themselves and just really fussy. Like, this person is, like, destined to be alone, you know? If they don't actually deal with um, what they need to deal, deal with, like, they need to go through that shadow work. They need to stop restricting themselves.
And then with the Ace of Clubs here. So with the Ace of Clubs here, I'm seeing like this person wants to be like in the spotlight. This person wants to be the one that's like always right and just like always. They want, they have that victim mentality, like as I said earlier. So it's like, you know, you're not going to have that many friends if you don't change your behavior. And with the nine of spades here, I'm definitely seeing that they notice this. This person may even just like, you know, because they have to do their shadow work, I feel like this person is going to have like a lot of anxiety and like they're going to start feeling a lot miserable about like, you know, losing the people around them. They're going to start feeling defeated and have like, nightmares right so this person like as i said earlier they want to be someone that's in the light you see like wealth and fame here but this isn't going to happen for them they're going to have this lack of success which is another part of their karma and this all results from you know them not really changing their behavior and how they deal with things so this is what i'm picking up for you guys that chose the diamond if this resonated with you please give me a thumbs up comment down below let me know what's going on let me know about the person that did you wrong and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell notification button to be notified each time that I upload. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye now. All right, those of you who have chosen the dark blue crystal, it's not a real crystal, but like this dark blue thing, um, what is the karma that your person is going to experience for doing you wrong? Let's figure it out. So what is their karma for hurting you? So we're going to start with the tarot cards, and we have the Five of Cups. We have the Wheel of Fortune, and we have the Seven of Pentacles. My hands are, like, so shaky from the last reading because I just got, like, oh, so heated. All right, and for Karma cards, we have the Scorpio and the Fifth House. So then for your playing cards, we have the Ten of Clubs, the Three of Hearts, and also the Five of Spades. So what is their karma for hurting you? Off the bat, this is the only reading that has received this Wheel of Fortune, so definitely that karma is coming to them. Spirit sees saw what happened and you know they don't like that they messed with you so obviously you know their karma is going to come <clears throat> so yeah i'm definitely seeing with the five of cups here their karma is really just they're going to have to sit with themselves and grieve and really like feel so bad about themselves and like really realize like oh shit like I messed up like I definitely messed up and they're going to kind of just like sit in that sorrow for a little bit there's there's three fives here as well so this person is going to definitely like feel really conflicted have a lot of conflict with themselves and like there's a lot of dispute dispute happening around them even with their, their circle of friends. I'm seeing that, you know, this is going to be their turning point in life. They're really going to, you know, keep being the way that they were or they're really going to turn. But, like, the wheel is turning. So I'm definitely seeing that this person is going to end up needing to stop and assess their life. But for a little while, you know, as I said, like, they're going to be grieving. This is, this is going to cause them to be a little depressed for a while. Yeah, I'm feeling like this person's going to be very, like, depressed, low energy. And that's going to be, like, kind of their karma for a while. Ooh, sorry. And then with the 
with the fifth house here. The fifth house, I'm seeing that, you know, the activities that, you know, once brought them joy isn't going to anymore. Like, as I said, like, this person's going to feel really, like, depressed. They're not going to, like, do the things that they love anymore. This person even might, like, go out and, like, gamble a lot as a way to kind of just, like, deal with their sadness. They kind of just gamble their life away. Definitely the people around them are going to see that they made an unwise decision. And, you know, it's their fault because they acted without really having all of the information based on, you know, the situation that they were in. And they're not going to, like, want to be around their friends or anything either because it's kind of like maybe they, they even, like, went to their friends and talked them, to them about it. And they're like, oh, you shouldn't do this. Or, you know, that's not good. Or they even, like, told them about you and said, like, no, they're a really good person. Like, you know, this shouldn't, you shouldn't do this. Be careful, whatever. And they, like, just didn't listen. Yeah, this person definitely did something behind your back and caused a lot of conflict. And I feel like a lot of people will notice this in their friend group. And... You know, because of this, they're also going to have that karma of, like, feeling um, very, like, self-destructive. Like, with the Scorpio card here, like, with Scorpions, um, or Scorpios, Scorpios, some of their negative traits uh, include self-destructive behavior and, you know, obsessive thinking. So this is why I'm really seeing like this person's gonna like fall into a depression. They're gonna have they're gonna be carrying a lot of burdens. They're gonna be like focusing on their grief, and like in the Rider weight that the uh, man is kind of just looking down at you know his harvest. So this person's really gonna be like assessing, looking at everything that they did, and like you know they know that they were responsible. And it's really going to, like, mess them up. Like, you know, one decision and it can, like, change a whole lot. I feel like this person also may have done this thing to you as a way to, you know, feel a little victorious. Uh, feel like, oh, well, I did it before they did it. Or... I'm doing this because I don't want them to deal with it or I don't want them to, you know, gain this. Or I don't want them to have this. So I'm going to do it first, which is what caused the conflict and a lot of disagreement. This is a hollow victory. And there's definitely no honor in the games that they were playing. This person was playing games with you. That's what I'm picking up heavily. Like with, you know, there's dice here, and then there's dice here, and then this, the uh, five of spades kind of just, you know, is about, you know, those people that just came back from battle, and they're kind of just going their separate way. So this person was playing games in the first place. And everyone kind of just saw this kind of happen, and now they're going to start crumbling and kind of just, like, stay to their own and be a little depressed for a while. So that's what I'm picking up for you guys that chose this dark blue crystal thing. Um, hopefully that resonated with you. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know your situation. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye now. Last but not least, those of you who have chosen the red diamond... What is their karma for hurting you? We're going to figure that out. So we'll start with the tarot cards here. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Devil. And we have the King of Cups. And we have Mercury, 
Mars. We have the ninth house. And then for your playing cards, we have the Two of Clubs, the Three of Diamonds, and also the Eight of Diamonds. So what is your person's karma for doing you wrong? I feel like this person's going to, there's a few things here. So just take what resonates. I feel like this person's going to have a breakup of some sort. Because, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is here and the King of Cups is here. And there's just like a double card in the middle. So I feel like this person's going to have a breakup. Or they're going to be cheated on. Or they're going to end up with somebody that is very manipulative. Has a very manipulative nature. Or some, another thing here could be like a divorce. So like a breakup slash separation divorce. And they may end up with somebody that's a little manipulative in the end. So it could be either that separation or ending up with somebody that's super manipulative. With the Mars here, I'm seeing like Mars is very like action driven and it's very like, it's a very masculine um planet here it holds a lot of masculine energy so I feel like this person something that's also a part of their karma is like they they are uh, they have been like really aggressive like passive aggressive doesn't just have to be like physically aggressive and then the partner that they end up with is going to be kind of like that way, like passive aggressive with them, manipulative, and I'm very impulsive. I'm seeing that this person's going to have really hard time communicating with their partner. If you see like one person's face is kind of looking that way and the other one's looking that way and they're not really like seeing eye to eye at all. So this person's not going to see eye to eye with their partner who they'll end up with. And with the ninth house too here, like the ninth house also rules like uh, judgment. So that's why I kind of like think about, you know, law and things like that. So this person may have a divorce and their divorce may end up like them needing to switch places, like leave a job or leave the house that they were living in with that person. Definitely this person's going to feel really let down and they're going to feel like they're going to get a lot of like opposition from their family and friends about this situation. You know, this about this separation. A lot of people may even like talk about it behind their back. So, you know, one of their big things, like as I said, is either there's a separation or they may end up with someone that may be manipulative and, you know, controlling and all that, which is sad. And I, you know, don't ever want to wish that on somebody, but this may be their karma. But, you know, take what resonates. But yeah. Oh, look at there. Legal action separation. So yeah, definitely that may be happening. That was basically their biggest, the biggest karma that's just jumping out at me. It's just like a separation, which, gonna, which is going to cause them to leave the place that they were living. May have to like sign some divorce files. You know, their family and friends kind of just being like, oh, how the heck did that happen? You know, not really understanding. I'm seeing this person may have been living a hectic life or will start having a little bit more of a hectic life because of this. 
they're going to have to start working really hard, maybe picking up a whole bunch of like, maybe to start balancing two or three jobs. This person definitely just wants to like, get away. I'm seeing like focus, travel, country life. This person just wants to like get away and the ninth house is also about travel. Um, <sighs> sorry guys. But yeah, they definitely need to, you know, sit with themselves and think about what has occurred in their life. And, you know, because of this, they're going to have to start improving, you know, their skills. They're going to have to pick up another job. They're going to, like, have to just, like, fend for themselves and make their own money. Yeah, they're going to have to, like, force themselves to do all of this. Like, in this physical, it's just force yourself to energize, confront. Let your mind tell you how. And I feel like this person was aware that this relationship was going to come to an end because it says the awareness of, like, this is probably something that has been on their mind, which, you know, that's, that was their karma here. Yeah. that's what I'm picking up here for those of you who have chosen the red diamond hopefully that resonated with you if it did please give me a thumbs up comment down below if you would like to let me know what's going on subscribe if you haven't already and I hope to see you guys in the next one bye now